Switching from 245 75 SAR-17 to 265 70 SAR-17, what's the real difference? Today, we'll dive into the pros and cons and how they impact your daily drive. According to the 3% rule, this change is perfectly safe. The diameter difference is only 0.4%, well within the acceptable range. You'll gain a tiny 0.14 inches in ground clearance. While not massive, it can be helpful in mild off-road scenarios. The 265 70th SAR-17 has 0.4% fewer revolutions per mile. Theoretically, this might slightly improve gas mileage, but in real-world driving it's barely noticeable. Visually, the 265 70th SAR-17 is wider and slightly taller, giving your vehicle a more robust and aggressive stance. This change is the most noticeable to most people. With only a 1% increase in sidewall height, the ride comfort difference will be very minimal. You're unlikely to feel a significant change. The wider 265 tire provides a larger contact patch, which can improve grip and stability, especially during cornering. This is the most practical improvement of this swap. There's a slight speedometer difference. At 20 miles per hour, you'll be going about 20.09 miles per hour. It's a small discrepancy, but worth noting. Switching from 245 75th SAR 17 to 265 70th SAR 17 primarily enhances aesthetics and handling. The marginal ground clearance and potential gas mileage benefits are negligible. The wider tire provides a real world improvement to grip. The most noticeable change will be the look of the vehicle. For daily driving, the impact is minimal. For those seeking a slightly more aggressive look and improved handling, this is a good upgrade. Off-road performance will be slightly better, but not by a large amount. Quote.